fucking what? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Alright, we're coming back to Bruce Springsteen. Yes, indeed, Bruce Springsteen fans, feeling you! Come on now! Here we go. This is a request from Peter Snedden. Peter wanted to see me react to this song from Bruce Springsteen. Uh, it's a performance, from what I understand, of the Bee Gees hit song, Stand Alive. Uh, this is from Brisbane in 2014. Okay, now, have I heard the song Stand Alive? Who hasn't heard that song? Seriously, how can you be living on this planet and you have not heard that song? That song has been used in countless movies, television shows, ad spots, commercials, media, video games. You name it, it's been used. So how in the world anybody could possibly say they have not heard this song before is beyond me. Uh, I have never heard Bruce Springsteen do it though, and I'm kind of curious to know how this is gonna go. So I, I, I'm, I'm curious, I'm intrigued. I'm definitely intrigued. Now I have a note here. Uh, Peter was very specific about this. I am supposed to play the whole video. Let the time run out. So I don't know why. He wouldn't tell me why, but he said he was very specific. I have to watch the entire thing. So, okay, I'm gonna watch the entire thing, but I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna take the entire thing into account. So if the if the ending is stupid, it's gonna affect the score. So I'm just, I'm letting you know, Peter, okay? Just be aware. Uh, this was posted by Bruce Springsteen. Okay, Um. yeah. He and I, as of late, he and I have had kind of a love-hate relationship. He loves to block my reactions for some reason lately. Um, he's blocked two of them. One of them I, I, I challenged. I I got lucky. I beat it. And he uh, he they unlocked it. Now, the other one um, for... Um, is it Light of Day, I think is the name of the song? Yeah, Light of Day. Um, I did a reaction to Light of Day. It's still blocked. <laughs> uh, I'm challenging it. I'm risking a copyright strike, but uh, I, I, I feel confident. But he has not unlocked it yet, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, let's see. Uh, la 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 la. Uh, this was okay. So posted by Bruce Springsteen, and the video has 2.57 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Bruce Springsteen, Staying Alive from Brisbane. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. I have no idea. So I'm supposed to let the whole thing run. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
wow. Like an actual string section. At first I thought that was keyboards because it was really clean. No, they got real live strings back there and they are good. Because I swear at first I thought that was a keyboard. Because it was so clean. They are playing together right in sync. Okay. Um, this is interesting. It, 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 you talk about a completely... You talk about taking a song that is, I, I hesitate to use the word iconic, but yeah, I have to use it. The word, the song is iconic. It is. I don't like the song, but the song is iconic. You talk about taking an iconic song and putting a completely different spin on it and changing my opinion of it. <laughs> I am digging this. I, I don't like the original version, but I am digging this. This is fantastic. Let's back it up a little bit. I want to hear those strings come in again. I swear to God, I thought that was a keyboard. some serious horn action going on here uh i have no idea who the trumpet player or the trombone player are but they are killing it killing it like they're absolutely slaying on their instruments right now which is fantastic um i want to hear that trombone come in again. <laughs> Oh, that's Tom Morello. Hey! solo spots in there uh, obviously tom got double the length i mean he's tom morello come on now but uh the horn players each got their chance to shine which was nice um you got trombone you got trumpet and you got tenor sax and they all did a fantastic job fantastic job uh tom morello coming out doing a more classical style of guitar solo uh not the usual stuff that he does like i used to i, I still say this tom morello will break out the hits where he does the scratching and the volume knobs and the pickup switches and you know the stuff like that he, he didn't do any of that he just was it was more of a straight ahead shredding uh shredding guitar solo and it was nice he did a really good job really good job let's uh keep this going <laughs> Where 
nowhere, somebody help me. Life's going nowhere, somebody help me. Life's going nowhere, somebody help me. Life's going nowhere, somebody help me. Nice. Well, you can't tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man, no time to talk. Music loud and when warm, I've been kicked around since I was born. It's alright, it's okay. Never the other way. We can try to understand the New York Times is that time. Whether you're a brother or with me, or mother, you're staying alive, staying alive. see why he wanted me because it, it sounded like it was going to fade out but but you never know with Bruce Springsteen so I had a feeling they were going to come back in and have more of a big ending so that was nice but great job great job overall um they took a song that I'm not a big fan of and uh made me enjoy that performance for sure that was really well done well there you go folks that was Bruce Springsteen with staying alive a nod to the Bee Gees classic tune right there uh, this was a request from Peter Snedden. And yes, Peter, I ran the entire video, so there you go. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10. Get on with it! Okay, before I give the score, I need to, I, I just, I need to make sure everybody's aware of this. Obviously, I've heard the song before. So I'm not grading on the song or the songwriting. I'm only grading this on the performance and the arrangement and you know, the, the live performance of the song. So not the song itself. So just keep that in mind. All right, on a scale of one to 10, I am gonna give that an 8.8. .8. Yep, 8.8, .8. I feel good with that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, I'm gonna start off by saying, this almost blew my mind, almost. And the reason I'm saying it almost blew my mind was, they took a song that I am not a big fan of. I mean, look, no disrespect to the Bee Gees whatsoever, okay? I am not going to argue the fact that the song is iconic. I, I will fully acknowledge that and admit that this song is iconic. I mean, it's used everywhere. Movies, television, commercials, ad spots, video games, uh, you name it. Live events, uh, sporting events, you name it, this song is used, okay? So... It is iconic. This is one of those songs that is going to stand the test of time and will be around forever. Okay, I fully acknowledge that and admit it. I don't like the song. <laughs> I, re I really don't. I, I'm not a fan of the song whatsoever. What blew my mind though was these guys, this band, Bruce Springsteen, came out and they took a song that I am not a fan of and they did their own spin on it. They made a completely different arrangement of it and it sounded really good. I really enjoyed that. I cannot believe that I was sitting there bopping and grooving to staying alive. It's a trap. 
What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. It almost blew my mind for that reason. Um, the arrangement on this was phenomenal. The usage of all the different instruments, the trumpet, the trombone, the tenor sax, all getting their chance to shine. But even before that, very beginning of the song, Bruce out there with his acoustic, not saying a word, just acoustic, and the trumpet player came out and did a little solo. Very tasteful. Very tastefully done. Um, shades of Miles Davis right there. I mean, that, that blue, uh, you know, just fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, it, start right there. That, that started us off on the right foot. Um, the backing vocalists with their harmonies, very strong. Very strong, good note selections on their harmony. So great job to them. Um, the violins and violas coming in. I saw, now I, I, I only saw six. There might have been more for all I know, but they were coming through clear as a bell. And what was really impressive about them, boy, they're good. They were in unison. Like every single draw of the bow across the string was to Together. You talk about being in sync. And here's the thing. Whenever you, with two people, it's not that hard. With four people, it gets tricky. With Now, I saw six. Now, there might have been more. But I saw at least six string players. Getting six string players to play with the same bowings, meaning the bow's moving the exact same way at the exact same time for the exact same amount of length of time and space <laughs> getting six people to do that is hard and those ladies knocked it out of the park i swear i thought it was a keyboard at first nope live strings very tight string section um the rhythm section bass and drums fantastic job as always super tight with each other keeping the pulse going filling out the bottom end with the bass sounded really good uh Bruce's vocal delivery on this. Uh, I think this is the reason why I enjoyed the song so much. He wasn't trying to be the Bee Gees. He wasn't trying to be Andy Gibb. He was, he was being himself. He was being him. He was singing the song the way he wanted to sing it. He wasn't going up into that falsetto range trying to be the Bee Gees. No. He's not the Bee Gees, and he knows he's not the Bee Gees. He knows he is Bruce Springsteen. So he is going to sing the song the way that Bruce Springsteen would sing it. Fantastic job. Uh, do I have any complaints about this? No, honestly, I... I can't think... Do I? Nope. I, no, even that, even that cacophonous section where everybody started soloing... Very Tower of Power-ish, like, like everybody coming up and, and slowly. But here's the thing. They would do a solo line, and then they would back out. And then they would come back in with another solo line, and they would back out. But it was all staggered. So while the trumpet player was doing a solo line and the tenor sax player was doing a solo line, Tom Morello and the trom and the trombone player were kind of back. Like, you know, they were still kind of playing, but they weren't coming forward. But then they would switch, and they were constantly switching and staggering. And cacophonous... Yes, but not in an unpleasant way. More like in a jam band kind of way. Uh, or a ensemble kind of way. Like Tower of Power. I, I, I used them before as an example. I'm going to use them again. They do a lot of the same stuff, especially as they get into the longer songs. Like uh, uh, a good example would be uh, Knock Yourself Out uh, on the uh, Live in a Living Color album. Uh, it's a long song. And there's parts where, you know, you have multiple people soloing over each other at the same time. Is cacophonous? Yes, but it sounds good. It sounds like organized chaos. And it sounds amazing. Same thing here. Even that section did not annoy me. It sounded good. So do I have any complaints? No, I really don't. This was a great job. Uh, and it, like I said, it almost blew my mind with uh, the fact that they were able to take a song that I don't like and... I enjoyed this. I absolutely enjoyed this. Would I watch this again? Yes, I would watch this again. Uh, will I ever go looking for it? I might. 
I might, I might go looking for it if I'm in the mood to watch it. I know it exists now, and I know where to find it. So, <laughs> thank you very much, Peter. Yeah, 8.8, .8, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It will do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.